Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about fan sizes and uh, you know how, how, how they're defined and um, and I'm going to start with uh, by drawing a simple fan, simple actual fan, and just draw the front view, something like that. And the uh, side view, it'll be something like that. Now that's a typical tube actual fan. There's the propeller. From the front, it'll look something like that. Those are the individual blades. It's like it's like an airplane propeller. There you go. And one more. There you go. Perfect. And that propeller is connected via a shaft to an electric motor. And uh, that's why they're called uh, actual flow fans, because uh, what it does, it sucks in the air this way. And the air goes out that way. And the air travels along the axis of the motor shaft. Uh, there are other fans which can suck the other way. They basically suck the air this way, and the air goes out that way. And um, this, this fan now is uh, normally termed a tube actual fan tube because you know the casing of that fan uh, is, is like a tube now size how is size measured well size is the inner diameter of the casing the casing is round as you can see here and the inner diameter that is basically the the diameter usable for the airflow that is size basically in this drawing here it'll be let me take another color Just say blue. It'll be that thing here. That'll be the fan size. And uh, the fan sizes, there are two common standards which exist. One is the metric standard. And those sizes are in millimeters. So you have, for instance, uh, I think they start at 250. And that'll be 250 millimeter. That means a fan of size 250 would have an inner diameter of 250 millimeters. And then they go up. The next size would be 315 in that metric standard. Next one would be 355 and so on. And you, you reach up to sizes like 2000, 2250 and beyond that. Um, basically, uh, the other, the other uh, uh, metric, uh, standard is the inch standard and that starts off to my knowledge with 15 inches you got 19 inches 21 inches 24 inches and so on basically the same thing uh, that means that the inner diameter here would be 15 inches of the of the of the casing 15 uh, inner diameter of the casing would be 15 inches now um, one thing with uh, uh, big fans, big fans, they generally rotate slower than small fans because of those centrifugal forces. You can imagine a pro uh, this propeller, this is, let's say a, a huge propeller, like 2,000 millimeters, that's like 2 meters diameter, rotating at high speeds is, uh, you know, those, those, those uh, impeller vanes or those, those propeller vanes, they would, they would be subjected to huge uh, centrifugal forces. And in order to avoid that, what is generally done is that those large uh, fans, they rotate at, at lower uh, speeds. And um, another, thing what, what, another thing with size is that, um, how is size determined? Well, I'm just gonna make some space here. Size, how do you determine a fan size? Well. In uh, with fans, you have a uh, certain software which is called selection software. Selection software, and with this selection software, what, what you do, you input two things 
the pressure you require and the amount of flow that you require. You input these two things and what, that's, what that software tells you, it, 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 what it spits out or what it outputs is it suggests certain fans or fan sizes which would do for your application. So let's say if you let's say have you need to require a pressure of 300 pascals and you require a flow of let's say 12,000 cubic meters per hour and um, you, you input these two things in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in your selection software and the fan tell uh, the, the software tells you okay you need a, a fan a 710 fan which has certain power let's say uh, I don't know three kilowatt and so on now that's okay if you have space for a, a fan of that size I mean that is like 710 millimeters in a diameter and if you have space in your building and everything's working out fine you can order such a fan install it and you got your you got your um, you know uh, ventilation system working now often it is like that that you have a system designed around a smaller diameter let me explain let's say uh, the fan is here that's the fan propeller shaft and motor and that fan actual fans normally don't stand alone what they are they're connected to ducts and those ducts you know air goes in here and out of here and those ducts they then distribute uh, all that air into your building into each room etc now it, it could be that your ducting is only 500 millimeters in diameter but you require a fan of 710 millimeters diameter what do you do and another limitation could be that the space here where the fan is supposed to be built in there is no space for a 710 millimeter dia um, diameter fan so what do you do well a common solution is is not to order one fan but two fans one blowing into the other so a, a sort of tandem fan system yeah so you've got a second fan here that's a second and what it does the first this first fan sucks in the air compresses it and pushes that compressed air into the second fan and that second fan further compresses that air and pushes them into the ducting thus with these two fans each size 500 you're able to produce pressures achievable with that 710er fan they call these tandem fans or double stage uh, 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 fans and basically they're just one fan attached to another nothing more there could be some in some cases there could be a spacer between these two fans but basically it's just two fans attached to another one blowing to the other and, th and thus these two smaller fans achieve pressures uh, equivalent to one uh, to those produced by a one single large fan okay so that's that's one thing uh, one thing with size that size is often a limitation but then you would have to order two smaller fans to achieve the, those uh, pressures uh, that you require